My next guest is a comedian who is making his late night debut with us this evening. He can be seen live at the 918 Comedy Club in Washington, D.C., January 11th and 12th. Please welcome the very funny Dan Soder. Thank you, everybody. How are you guys? Pretty believable. Let you guys know about me, I am 29 years old, and I am officially a part of the worst generation of all time. Yeah, we did it. Seriously, if you're under 30, you and I are slowly ruining everything. We ruined the tattoo. If you're a white guy under 25 and you're covered in tattoos, I'm probably not afraid of you. That's not how that's supposed to work. If you're over 70 and you have tattoos, I am terrified of you. If I see an old man with a faded anchor on his forearm, no thank you. That's a man that's watched death. Tell me I'm supposed to be afraid of some 19-year-old, arm covered in seaweed tattoos, taking an hour to explain what's on his body. Well, life's a journey. And that's why I have a koi fish because it symbolizes peace. <laughs> Shut up, Caleb, no one cares. <laughs> I'm glad you guys agree. Let you guys know about my backstory. I am the product of a single parent. And whenever it's said like that, always means single mom. <laughs> always, because no one bitches about being raised by a single dad. You can't, it looks so much fun. Playboy is all over the house. You get to eat waffles for dinner. Watch rated R movies on a school night. You're basically just like a mini wingman the whole time. That's all you are. Your dad takes you out, he's like, do something cute so pops can get some strange. I like where your head's at, old man. I was raised by a single mom, which basically meant uh, I ruined most of the 80s for her. <laughs> I didn't know what dating was. It was five when my mom started dating. Some guy would come over, I'd be like, cool, a new roommate. <laughs> Don't touch my stuff. <laughs> by the time I was seven, I was like a grizzled veteran. I was the one answering the door, smoking a Winston. <laughs> Just all confident, like, what's up, chief? You here for the old lady? Right on. <laughs> Quick secret, you buy me a Ninja Turtle toy, I'll go get lost in that garage for an hour. <laughs> yeah. I got a lot of free toys, it was awesome. I uh, currently live in New York City, which is, uh, yeah, you know, it's there. <laughs> I've been living in New York about six years now, and when I first moved there, I had a huge fear I was gonna get mugged constantly. Like every time I left the house, I was like, here it comes. Someone's gonna take everything. I got over my fear because I learned a trick and now I use this trick all the time. Whenever I think someone might try to beat me up or mug me, I fake a Russian accent. You're welcome. It's genius. I'll be walking home late at night, two dangerous looking thugs walk up to me like, yo man, you know what neighborhood you're in? You think this bad neighborhood? <laughs> Russians are the scariest white people. <laughs> They've earned it. I'm so scared of them that I guarantee you if I was lost, dangerously lost, there is no way I'd ask a Russian for directions. <laughs> Just real quick, like, sir, help me. Please help me. How do I get to the subway? The subway. <laughs> Walk down street and turn corner. <laughs> yeah, screw that. I think I'm just going to stay lost. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. You guys are a great crowd. That's killer. That's great. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Dan Soder. That's really fun.